Hey guys, Unfrequented World, and uh, we are out in the garage planning another trip. I say we, my brother's in town, so I won't show you his ugly mug too much. I wanted to do a um, shout-out. I was saving this for um, when John and I go hunting. My uh, my shovel here, a little digger shovel that I bought online. I have uh, did a review on this on the site, guys. This thing has dug, I don't know, thousands of holes at this point, and a lot of it's in that heavy clay. And John and I did a video when we went out to the fairgrounds, and literally he his shovel didn't last, you know, two hours, and it was done. We drove to the hardware store, bought him another $20 shovel. It didn't make it to the end of the day, so we said enough of that, and we uh, went online, and we ordered John another one of these. John is down south working right now, so a shout-out to John, because we're going to borrow his shovel. My brother was digging with the hand digger yesterday. He didn't like that. He's not into that. So. I contacted uh, Greg from Little Digger Shovels on uh, Facebook, and uh, we mentioned, you know, that we wanted another shovel, and uh, he helped us out with some of the cost of shipping and that. And uh, so we just wanted to do another shout-out for these things, because these are heavy-duty, fantastic, quality build, guys. You, you, I mean, in the States, I think you guys pay 39 bucks for a shovel. Up here in Canada, we pay almost that much for shipping, and I bought two of them because that's how good they are. And a shout-out to John, Silver Sniper. Thanks for letting us borrow your shovel. Even though he didn't technically say yes. Yeah, he... Anyway. <laughs> he hasn't paid me for it yet, so technically it's still mine. <laughs> so we're at a site in North Bay um, that's abandoned, and it's a... Uh... And it's a, an old inn, and um, we didn't know if the municipality owns this. Um, there are no signs saying keep out. If you see behind me, they've put big rocks on the road, but there's no sign saying private or keep out or anything. So we're going to walk up and take a look and check this out. It's definitely got that post-apocalyptic feel to it. Now, you know what that feeling is? The shining. We brought the detectors because... You know, if it's city property, we thought we could maybe detect, but there's no signs, as you can see, anywhere coming in here. Look at that place. That screen's shining, man. Want to get your creep on? I don't feel anything yet. So we're on lookout for animals and people never know who's living in this place. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but I did not expect that. That warm smell of decay that's coming out of here. Honest to God, I've never smelt anything like that. Yeah, it is kind of gross. <laughs> Satan's butthole. <laughs> this is the wrong kind of show for this channel. I'm not into bringing something home with me. I'm not into ghost hunting. I kind of believe in that crap, so... Oh, man, does that reek. Uh, dude, there's a creepy clown graffiti over here. Sounds like somebody walking up above, but I think it's just water dripping. Okay, that last place I found in the bush I thought was creepy, but this place is creepy and stinky. Look at that. You might want to read that sign there. Theft or vandalism. Doesn't say anything but trespassing. Okay, so the question is, do we go upstairs? Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I hope there's a breeze because that thing's swinging. I don't know why when there's an abandoned building everybody feels the need to smash every window. Oh, dude. Nasty? Creepy. Oh, it stinks, too. That's carpet. Yeah, it does stink. Did something die in here somewhere? <laughs> oh, God. 
Huh, so the rookie pointed out we don't even have detectors, but I don't know that I want to take that with me. This yeah. place is just so bloody creepy. It's new, it's shiny. I think I saw this room in the last Fallout game I played. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's like a swamp growing inside the building. We gotta go down that hallway before we leave. I, I don't want to go down that hallway. Alright. I feel... it feels freaky. It's creepy in here for sure. We would not make uh, good ghost hunters, that's for sure. I'd be running. Oh yeah, dude, total Fallout vibe in this place. Or Elix. <laughs> Any of you guys play the video game Elix? Kind of a sleeper from last year. Not a bad game. Great game. You don't have a jetpack, do you? Not on me. Left it in the car. What a weird place. Oh, hell no. I'm not going down there. No, me either. Hell no. Hey! You bastard. Took off on me. Alright, I'm out of here. Don't you frickin' jump out at me either. I know you too friggin' well. We both agreed that it's too freaking creepy to go back in there. There's another wing over here. But it's more uh, of the smell. Don't like it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I did pick up that dime and it's going to stay right freaking here. <laughs> I'm not taking that home. <laughs> hey, look at this. Stay right there. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't want to move. Find a plug-in. It's creepy. Every side of this place is creepy. Jesus! <laughs> you know I'm not cut out for this kind of place. It's broad daylight and I'm freaking out. <laughs> Pigeons mate for life. Oh God. Yeah, so this here looks like it was all burnt. Maybe that's why they shut it down. There was a fire and... Where the swamp was growing in there, maybe, or something? I don't know. Holy dude, I just about stepped down here. And look at this. Oh my god. There is a basement, and I am not going anywhere near that. Echo, echo. Anybody down there? Hey, we were only on the second floor. There's three floors. No, I'm not going back in there either. So we just remembered that we've got the drone. Ready the drone. You gonna let me fly it? Hell no. Hells yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't think so. It's a good thing we had that drone with us because there was no way I was climbing back in there to check out that third floor. No, I was happy to sit back 100 feet. That smell was just rancid rot. Yeah, creepy. 
creepy place. It reminds me totally of the video game Elix, like you said earlier, with the plants and everything growing around oh, the building. 100%. It's like they modeled that game off of this old inn. You know, if a, a glowing ghoul had climbed out of that basement pool, I would have been more surprised, man. I was just like, yeah, yeah, I was expecting it. It would have been fitting, that's for sure. Yeah. Definitely a creepy place. You wouldn't catch me going back there at night, that's for sure. I'm not into this ghost hunting thing. When you said you didn't want that dime, I didn't want the raspberries off the raspberry bush. No. Uh, when you said raspberries, no way. Don't take anything, don't eat anything from this property. No. No. I did like the swamp room, though. The swamp room was cool. It was really cool. Uh, I think it was probably my favorite. Although, this penthouse view with the fireplace was a close second, I think. But we don't know if it smelled, because the drone... We couldn't tell, so I'm pretty sure this whole property and the neighboring property smells identical. Yeah. Demon stink. <laughs> Satan's bottle. <laughs> yeah. Pigeon crap everywhere. And here's your little pigeon buddies right here. Yeah. Retribution. Drop the drone right on top of them. And try. My luck, though, one of them would have flew right up into the rotors, and there goes my drone again. That would have been good footage, though. I'd have paid to see that. I wouldn't be climbing up there to get the drone, though. That's the only problem, so we'd have no footage. The only place you could metal detect there is probably on the backside. I don't even know what you'd get. But at least you'd be downwind. Mid-90s junk. Okay guys, so not my first choice of place to go, but my brother watched the old church video and he thought it was a really cool video and he liked the uh, site and he wanted to see it. So he's convinced me to take him out here and um, we're going to detect the church for an hour. He assures me there will be something that I missed. I'm telling him I don't, think so. I don't think so, but uh, we'll give it another go and he just wants to check out the church. Yeah, the church looks very cool. What do you got? First find. Rusty old nail. Not a coin, but uh, it's a start. Rookie got digging fever. He wants to dig every signal. He'll learn. <laughs> okay, what do you want to bet? Coolest relic or oldest coin? Both. He's cocky. All right. Well, it was only buried in the grass, but hey... That's relicky. So I found him a mid 80s solid one here. We've been here about 40 minutes and we both have a pouch full of junk, but that's about it. I only dug two holes. Okay, well, I have a pouch full of junk. There we go. A washer. Here's my best artifact. A hook. Nice. 16th I, century torture, I believe. I got one almost as good. It's down there leaning against the rock. Got something in this clump here, so we're not making any promises. Huh. Damn it. 1958, honey. Got a pouch full of iron junk. I gave up some sweat, a couple of tears. Yeah, I cry a little bit too when I don't get anything. Well, the day wasn't a total waste. Tried out John's shovel. It worked great. Dude, what the hell? You scratched John's shovel. Good as new. Hey, wait, you didn't see my relic. That's a plus three Amish cudgel of death. Yeah, you win. You win the relic battle. 